Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sequel Grim here and welcome to another episode of Ingest2 Mobile News. For those of you new to the series, this is where we talk about the chests that are in the store, the special offers, the challenges, the arena seasons and uh, we basically talk about what is worth your time, your gems and uh, your money. Uh, and uh, a quick shout out to Fizdush. D don't uh, mind this uh, too much, it's j just a random Russian guy who approached me on Facebook and he was like Sh Give me a shout out in a video and I'm going to promote you I'm, I'm not sure if your promotion capabilities mate, but uh, a deal's a deal So yeah, uh, if you find this video helpful, like, comment, and subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it and let's get rolling Okay, so first up we're going to have grid as a challenge not really that it was necessary to have a challenge for Grid, since he's already in the campaign, in the arena store, he can drop from raids and he also has a challenge. But uh, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at him. By the way, I got all the gears from raid drops, I didn't invest into them. So, Grid is going to be basically uh, the counter to Just League Cyborg. For that matter, it's going to be a counter for every cyborg, but except for Just League Cyborg, the other cyborgs are not going to be a problem with you. With Circuit Breaker, uh, he will uh, disable the abilities uh, of uh, cyborg opponents, the passives to be more exact. So, you can just stick him as a support character in your team whenever you're fighting the Just League team, and that is the main use for him. He will also get some buffs when fighting tech opponents, he will get uh, a boost, I think he regenerates health when he kills a cyborg with his special tree or something, but that, that's not very important though, the important thing is the uh, disabling of cyborg opponent's passive and also the fact that he's going uh, to uh, get a shield if he loses uh, uh, higher than a certain percentage of health, uh, deal, deal, damage should be dealt by basic attacks. So if you hit him with, with basic attacks and he takes uh, too high of a damage, he will generate a shield. So yeah, basically this guy is going to be a great counter to just select him. And uh, a thing that you might do is build him up to fight them by themselves, but that's not optimal. So what you can do is just get him uh, at 2 stars and stick him in there whenever you are fighting the just select team. Other than that, he's not going to be uh, that amazing of a character. He's good to have in your roster, but not uh, really a uh, strong character so yeah you should go ahead and uh, start farming him uh, because uh, the other options from the campaign and the arena store are not going to be that optimal since uh, in the campaign his rounds are not going to be that uh, high for you to farm gears on them i think one of them is high enough and in arena store you got other priorities so yeah farm his challenge get him to two stars and from two stars on it's up to you if you want to go further into this Next up, let's take a look at the arena season character. This season is going to be just like Aquaman. He's of course going to be, oh, excuse me, I entered the objectives. He's, he's of course going to be a member of the Just League team and he's going to be a pretty essential one to some extent. So, uh, the thing that makes him an essential member is going to be the passive that he has. Uh, this is going to provide a 90% chance uh, uh, to armor pierce uh, attacks for the Just League team. At 5 stars, uh, when you upgrade the passive, it's going to be 100%. So, yeah, by putting him in a Just League team, all the Just League characters will ignore with every basic attack the defense of the enemy. And that is going to be great if you are going to be using the... Uh, a uh, classic uh, Just League team uh, like him coupled with Cyborg and Just League the Flash. Other than that, it's also notable the fact that he is able to revive the KO Just League member by using his super move, that might cam come in handy at some points, and he also does uh, power slow uh, generation on his special too, though that, that's not a big deal, like power slow uh, is not even as close uh, as good to power drain. So yeah, the only uh, thing that you need this guy for is going to be the passive, and it's going to be a pretty good passive. Though lately the uh, optimal team uh, in terms of Just League team for raids at the very least is going to be with Cyborg and the Batman, so he does not have a place there. And the other thing to keep in mind is that if he's not paired up with the Cyborg and Flash, or at least with Cyborg, he's not going to do that much by himself. But other than that, he's a great character, a character that should definitely do your best to farm. Uh, but I wouldn't really refresh with gems for him, depends on your priorities and depends if you have just like Cyborg already and you want to get this guy maxed. But I wouldn't really refresh uh, with gems uh, for him, because he comes uh, in quite often and it's not that hard of an arena season compared to other characters. Now let's get into the uh, store section of the video and let's take a look at the chests that are up for sale right now. First of all, we got the Enchantress Legendary Chest. 
this is going to be total crap and I uh, advise you to please do not buy this. If you bought this, then this was a waste of gems. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, getting over the fact that Enchanter is not going to do much for you in terms of raids and she's just an Arena and Champions Arena character and you'll need to get his, her gears from the special offers. Like getting that out of the way, not even uh, thinking about that, there is a Suicide Squad chest where you have chances to drop either her, Harley or uh, Deadshot. And uh, if you look at the chances on that chest, you be you have uh, better odds getting her from there than from here. And also she's going to be more or less useless uh, without the full Suicide Squad team. Oh boy, oh boy, I, I, I'm going to put this in the title of the video and in the thumbnail because this, this uh, just has been a long time coming. Uh, because it's been absent for a very long time. Uh, we have the Joker League of Anarchy chest and uh, as we all know League of Anarchy characters are going to be one of the best characters in the game for raids and at the same time they are going uh, to be needed in order to farm the Batman Ninja challenge. So everybody's looking for League of Anarchy character right now. So uh, let's uh, start with pointing out a few things about the characters. All three of them are going to be amazing characters. That's going to be a given. But uh, you will not get uh, Heartbreak Harley Quinn's gears uh, pretty much anywhere, maybe except for tier uh, 7 and tier 8 raid drops. So uh, in tier 6 they do not drop, so if you uh, don't have them already, you might uh, need to buy a paid offer for them. Last left the Joker does drop shards from raids. So even if you don't drop him from this chest, you will eventually max him out and then proceed to have additional shards for him just by playing tier 6 raids. So that's also a thing to keep in mind. So while in the moment he might be a good drop, uh, Last Love the Joker is actually the worst drop from this chest because you can get him in other ways pretty much for free. And in Tangling Post Navi is going to be must have uh, no matter which one of those uh, other two that I mentioned you are using for raids. Because with League of Arc you are going to be using two raid teams once with Joker and once with Harley and uh, Entangling Poison Ivy has to be in uh, uh, both of them so you pretty much have to choose. Another thing in order to make Harley work you will need to have Arkham Knight Batman because that is how the team works. So yeah, now let's uh, get into the chances. You got a 6% chance to get some of them and as I have already said, the best drop is going to be Entangling Poison Ivy. Heartbreak Harley Quinn will not have uh, gears. Uh, and uh, last of the Joker, you'll most likely get him maxed eventually from tier 6 raids. And uh, also, uh, the problem with this is that uh, even for last of the Joker and Tangling Poison Ivy, their gears do drop from tier 6 raids. It will take you quite some time, to be honest, to get those gears. So, look, uh, if you're going to look at this chest and uh, wonder if you want to open it and try and get them. Go into your collection and uh, click on the card of Last Level Joker and Entangling Poison Ivy. Because even if you don't have the characters, you can look at what gears of those characters you do have. If you have like 4 to 5 gears for each one of them, even 5 on one and 3 on the other, then you might want to consider buying this chest in order to get them, because they are going to help you unlock the Batman Ninja Team Challenge. But if you are missing like 3 gears for each one of them, then th this is not the time to get this. Just wait until you are going to drop more of their gears from uh, raids. So yeah, I'm not going to buy this chest myself, uh, if this was on sale I would have bought it and last time I saw it I think it was on sale with the anniversary events. So I'm going to be conservative with my gems and uh, hold on to spending them until this might actually get again in on sale and uh, or I get a better deal for something. And don't get me wrong, the League of Anarchy is a must have on every single account. But there's a, there's a right way to do it and there's a bad way to do it and I have pretty much explained to you. So if you do have the gears then maybe go for it. If you don't have the gears then if you unlock them you're not going to do anything with them anyway. Next up, the Just League Power Up chest. This is going to be crap for a couple of reasons. Except for Cyborg, every single character over here is going to be in the arena. So you can unlock them that way. And uh, if you take a look at this one, the price is not going to be that expensive to be honest. And you're going to get some hero shards. Uh, you are guaranteed to get uh, hero shards for the Just League team and that's good. But the problem is... The only good drop from here is going to be Just League Cyborg because the rest of them you'll eventually unlock from uh, Arena Seasons and if you if you don't then uh, you don't really need Just League Batman anyway or Mythic Wonder Woman. The other two characters that are needed are going to be Just League Aquaman and Just League The Flash. And as I have said those two are in the arena so uh, considering you can't, let, let's say you can't uh, manage to get uh, Elite Four in the arena then you still are going to have only three good characters to get from here and the odds of shards are going to be... Uh, 
okay the price of the chest i guess is not that big but i wouldn't buy this one because the other just leak chest is going to have chances to unlock the characters straight away and at the same time is going to have a chance for just like superman so i would go for the other just like uh, chest the one that gives full characters and is going to have superman but you might you might uh, want to try your luck with this if you are missing a few shards to get one of them to six stars but yet again if you are in that uh, situation then there's uh, always champions arena and prismatic shards for you and over here we have one of the best, if not the best premium chests. If any of you have started the game recently and you're watching this and you're having trouble in arena or campaign, this is the place to spend your gems. Atlantean Armor Aquaman is going to be the best character for a beginner and will help you tremendously clear through campaign and arena. He sucks in raids, I'll give you that, but for arena, champions arena and campaign he's going to be one of the best characters in the game. Now let's get into the special offers. Black Adam. Okay, I, I wouldn't go for this one. Like, uh, uh, this one is going to be a character that you will be able to get from the arena seasons. Uh, and he's also going to be in the wizard chest. So yeah, I, I, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather uh, farm the arena. And even if you are unable to farm the arena seasons, he is not that much of a must-have character. Like, you have uh, other priorities. Like, don't get me wrong, if you have Black Adam build him he's great but if you don't have black adam don't go out of your way to get him because you'll eventually get him and even if you don't eventually get him then you'll be pretty much fine uh arkham knight batman gear pack don't touch that you are going to get your gears for arkham knight batman from the achievements and the fact that they give them a 30 is not worth that much of, a of, a of an amount of money uh black adam gears uh, are they they are in the arena store hopefully still are there going to check after uh, i go through this and that's how as i have said dawn of apocalypse defender i say this every time it's going to be a pretty decent chest uh, for a beginner to um uh, go uh, and do some decent progress in soul rates because you're guaranteed to get one of the dawn of apocalypse uh, defender artifacts and over here we have arkham knight batman uh, legendary offer uh, don't worry about the gears since you will be able to get the gears from the achievements once uh, you do unlock him and he's going to be one of the better legendaries he's a uh, must have in the best damage dealing team in the game but on the other hand the price is crazy high so th this is up to you but if you were ever thinking about buying a legendary character then this is going to be one of the better ones to get uh, maybe the second best one other than black manta uh, and the fact that he comes with gears is a bonus so it's up to you if you want to spend that amount on a legendary i wouldn't spend it myself but if you want to then this is going to be a decent buy and let's uh and yeah while we look in the arena for the gears as i have said thank you very much for watching like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this dislike it if you dislike it. maybe hit that bell button to get notified for every single upload and to get updated on the gems that you should uh, spend and not spend yes the gears are thankfully still here and i'll see you in the next one